Taurus, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings. Take what works, sleep what doesn't, as with everything. And if I don't catch your wavelength or storyline here, go check your other major placements. We're starting with the Oracle deck uh, of Moonology and Work Your Light, and then we're going to move on to the Crow Tarot for a more traditional spread. I just got a ton of cards here from those Oracle decks, so we're going to see what we got here. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I even need to, there's so much. <laughs> oh, cool, 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 cool. All right, so here's the first one that came out. It was a bit of a, a, it flipped around and went back into the deck, which I love. Always grabs my attention. Surrender to the divine full moon. Uh, there's divine timing. Just follow your instincts. Um, don't try to figure out how this is going to end up, where this is all going. Don't try to control the outcome or the timing of anything. Just roll with it. We're rolling with it right now. Um, so we have, uh, okay. I like these two coming up together. Uh, what do you need to release waning moon? We have like some downtime, a little bit of relax, a little bit of chill, right? It's winter. So we're chilling. Um, we're going to chill for a while. We're going to rest. It's okay to let go. It's okay to, um, to move on. It's safe to move on from something. Um, and I love it because it says, uh, what do you need to release? And then we have the answer. It's negativity. It's time to release negativity is what we're needing to release. Uh, so full moon in Scorpio, I like how we're actually, we're seeing something, we're seeing something fully here in this full moon, uh, in Scorpio. Um, we see that maybe we've been defensive on something. Maybe we've been a little, uh, we, we may have been projecting our fears onto something. Um, it's time to release negativity. It's time to release, uh, some bad feelings or some, some sense that something bad is going to happen or some sort of just negative beliefs about ourselves. So what do you need to release? Negativity still leaves it pretty wide open of the whole variety of things that you could be releasing here. Um, but um, full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is very defensive, right? Scorpio is very, um, it's got that little stinger on the back here. So it's very um, protective. It's very defensive. It's going to sting you if you step out of line or step in your boot wrong. So maybe put that stinger down. It's safe to put the stinger down. It's time for rest. It's time to let go. It's safe to put that stinger down. You don't need to be quite so defensive about something. Um, and then don't, I love south node, north node. Y'all know I love to do that work. I love that, um, that astrology work. I'm not an astrologer, but I do love to dabble in and explore. So don't let your past hold you back, south node. Uh, it's time to do something a little differently, uh, move a little differently, approach a topic or an issue a little differently. Just because you've always done it that way doesn't mean you have to keep doing it that way. You just don't. So you can let something go. So we're asking, you're being asked to let go. Maybe it is this defensiveness. Maybe it is this shield and your guard being up all the time. Maybe that is what you need to let go of. Um, so yeah, just because you've always felt this way or always done things this way or always interacted with the current situation this way, you don't have to do that anymore. And in fact, it might, it will be in your, to your best benefit to try something else. Try another way of approaching a problem or an issue. You don't need to have the stinger up. You don't need to be defensive anymore. It's, you're safe to let go. I mean, that's what this waning moon, what do you need to release? It's saying it's safe to release something. It's safe to release that stinger. It's safe to relax it. So just because you've always been defensive or about something, or just because you've always had anxiety about something, um, it's time to move a little differently, find a little different way to do that. Um, so, and then we have uh, this little promise, new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. So there's something here, some project in the real world where you don't really know where it's going. You don't know, you're just like shooting your arrows into the, into the darkness. You don't know. You're just starting something here, um, but it has a lot of potential to be very strong, very robust, and um, bring, in, bring in the, the, 
bacon or the beef as the case may be. It's interesting to think of Taurus. Oh, that's you. Your moon in Taurus. Look at that. A little beef patty here. But prosperity lies ahead. So um, so shoot your shot. Uh, and, uh, and something good is coming in for it. There will be good results, even though you can't see them from the place where you're shooting your shot. Right? And then we have, uh, well, shoot your shot. We have leap. You go first and the universe will catch you. So you're taking a leap, right? This new moon's always sort of uh, denote to me a leap of faith. We can't see where it's going. We can't, we're not getting strong visuals about where this is going, but we're taking a leap here. We're taking a leap because we have the sense that prosperity lies ahead. Some sort of success is coming in with the, with a project. So, but it is a leap of faith. Um, you go first, the universe will catch you. I'm loving this too because it's surrender to the divine. So you're taking some sort of action on something. The divine's here saying, yeah, I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. Let me figure out some of the details for you. So you're taking that leap, trusting the universe, uh, trusting uh, this, this movement. And then we have energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So we got waning moon and then we have waxing moon here. So it's free to release something, but something else is as something else is gaining room. You've already started something here. You've already started and you're moving forward. You've got some distance to go here, but we're already on your, on your way. Um, I always think of this as like the car has been packed uh, and we've come from our neighborhood and we're getting on the freeway for this road trip. So we're already on the way. This is sort of the on-ramp here. Our, we're, we're gaining speed at a, at our speed that we're going to be flying at for a while or altitude or and there's like a takeoff here but there's a lot of work that goes in before the takeoff of the plane or the takeoff of the car so this is referencing to the beginning of something the beginning of something let's call it a plane trip right where everybody's packed everybody's in their seats everybody's got their belts on and they on the the all of the safety protocols have been reviewed we've taxied and now this is a moment we're starting to really take off here got some distance to go we're leaping this is a definitely a leap of faith uh, but the energy is gaining momentum uh, and then we have priestess how are you being called to step up and lead leadership here so you're leading you might be leading this leap into the unknown uh, so you do have some leadership here and some responsibilities here in this uh, in this project in this endeavor whatever this is uh, so, and you may be being asked to come into some sort of leadership role in something. Um, and this would definitely be saying, uh, go for it, go for it. You may have shied away from this before in the past, but this is, um, no need for that. Uh, any sort of negativity, any sort of, uh, defensiveness or, uh, or self sabotage, you can let go of that. You can let go of that. Maybe you've been a follower your whole life and this is asking you to step up and lead leap into leadership here so or you just have something you can start there's something where you're taking initiative on something and that's good that this is this is letting you know that you can do that this reading is beautiful and lovely it's ridiculous um so this card just came out as i was trying to do the the other set of things this is the nine of cups this is uh having accomplished something and being very proud of it um and it's very you're very happy with something um and this is looking forward to a time of being able to show it off it might be building a website it might be um displaying some sort of um, success that you have either emotional success where you've matured and you would like the world to see that you've matured or um some other type of success and and allowing people to see it displaying look at all these treasures he's found look at that this was a lot of work this emotional growth this um this growth and this accomplishment was quite a bit of work and uh and he, he wants people to see it look at what i have look at what i have assembled this is your past your present your inner landscape what's the issue your environment to do list possible okay All right, in the recent past, we have eight of pentacles. A lot of hard work has gone into something, right? It's almost like the packing of the plane here. A lot of hard work has gone into something. It's been absorbing work. This has not been um, a problem. 
Uh, it's not been boring work. It's been absorbing work. It's been a little repetitive, uh, but we've got, you've put a lot of work into something already. So you've been hard at work, very focused on that work. Um, very focused, very absorbed. Here your friends are all flying off in the sky, uh, twittering about this and doing that. And you're, meanwhile, you're focused. You're, this isn't a possessiveness. This isn't, um, uh, there's other cards where there's a strong, you're very focused, but there's issues with it. This is a very pleasant focus. This is something where you get to bring parts of yourself into the world. And look, there's this, again, a sense of display here, of displaying my work. See how hard I've worked. See what I've done. Uh, similar to, to this one. This is more emotional work and emotional growth, and this is more physical work and physical growth. And see see what I've done, uh, see what I've accomplished. Um, but it's almost like you don't even care, you haven't in the past even cared who saw or what happened because you've just been so focused on the work in front of you. Um, so, I mean, these might have been like even ad admirers flying by. Look at all the work he's doing. But that's beautiful, right? Like, that's nice. It's like, it's like you're at some sort of like arts festival and, and you've got your booth and you've got everything displayed here. Both of these have a sense of that to me. I don't usually get that from this card, but I'm getting that today. Uh, and, it, you know, other people are reveling and having fun and going through the little... Um, park with all the booths set up and and but you're working and you're showing your work and and it's up here but meanwhile you know well well i'm here and until i get a paying customer i'm gonna sit here and continue working and then just put it up work put it up so you're doing your work like while you're displaying it too here um in your current situation we have the lover's card Ooh. Lover's card to me though represents something you're deeply connected to and deeply passionate about and it's a decision time. Are, what are we going to do? Are we going to go towards that which brings us alive? And there's this temptation to do the old thing. There's a temptation to do the expected thing or there's a, there's a choice and a decision here. Um, how are we going to move through the world? Are we going to move through love or through fear? Are we going to make decisions in our life afraid of what other people are going to think, afraid of being poor, afraid of um, afraid of uh, being an outsider? Are we going to, is that how we're making our decisions? Is that a fear? Are we making our decisions focusing, focusing on what we love, focusing on the heart? And there's a deep connection here with a thing or a person. And as long as you stay focused on that love, you'll be fine. But there are dangers that surround this love. And it's so easy to to look around and feel fear and and mm, yes, I'm seeing this. It's so easy to look around and feel fear and fear um, and fear and fear and fear. Right here, we have this like it's time to release negativity. It's time to focus on something you love, not on what you're afraid of. What do you need to release? It's that negativity. Don't let your past hold you back. So there's something here where you have the choice to turn your back on fear and to just focus on what you love and make that make that your the apple of your eye um and but it's a decision it's a hard decision it's not an easy decision there's complications anytime we have that true connection that true love it's it brings us to so many difficult choices and difficult decisions to be made here so in your inner landscape your hopes your fears We've got anxiety. We've got the nightmare card, the fear card. Here's fear of being trapped, fear of this, this intuition being walked away, being stuck behind all of these fears. There's a sense of, there's a real sense of fear here um, and, and a nightmarish sense of being trapped, being stuck in a, in a life, um, being, and I feel like being separated from your true self, being separated from your intuition. So you're dealing with some fears and we've already got three cards dealing with fears right here. We've got three, you're already doing something, right? Um, but you're, you're dealing with a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety and a lot of maybe even defensiveness. And so, um, so this lover's card, this choice, you're really dealing with some strong fears and is the fear of being separated from your intuition and separated from this thing that you love and that calls to you is that, um, you know, that's kind of a legit fear actually, like, but this nightmare card has you sort of replaying things in your mind, uh, being worried about being trapped being worried about, 
um, things not working out, being worried that maybe your intuition's wrong, maybe you didn't hear right, uh, maybe maybe something's maybe this is all gonna go wrong. Um, you're t safe. You're safe in your nest, uh, but but your mind is is awake and alive with uh, painful thoughts and memories and ideas that that are in in a way sometimes our minds can be our greatest form of self harm, right? Like our own thoughts can be self harming. I almost see like the the scars of self harm here. They might be mental scars. Um, But those mental, the, that mental pain causes the physical, you know, causes the sorts of the self-harming, um, ritualistic self-harm, a pattern. Both this eight of pentacles, this pattern of work, and this, um, this nine of swords, this pattern of, of fear and, and defensiveness, both of these are patterns here. And right, we're not letting our past hold us back. We're breaking free from patterns. We're the, a way that we've always dealt with something. But you're, there's a lot of fear here. I have, being a human on this earth is is a frightful experience. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say you're weird. I mean, we're so vulnerable and we're so aware of it. I oh, another person here. Another problematic person. Aries had a problematic person as well. Here we have reverse King of Swords. This is kind of a bitch. This is someone who, the, the Queen of Swords in the upright is powerful. She knows what she thinks and she speaks it. She's not going to dink around and, and try to soften things. She's very focused on her job and she's very focused on saying what she thinks. She knows. She's, she's internally focused, right? And that's where her words are coming from, from, from just an internal focus. And she knows what she thinks and she's going to say that. This can be very refreshing. Queen of Swords in reverse it's not necessarily just she she hurts she hurts with her words she's mean she's um out of touch she she may know what she thinks but she's not very she's rude she's a little bit rude about saying what she thinks it's not only that she doesn't she's so focused it's not that she's so focused or he this can be a man too right it's just the the terms queen always I don't know why queen women at this point in my life like also denote a man. Um, but this is a person uh, that can be very cruel with their words. And it's not just that they're focused. They're just so focused on what they think that they're just spewing it out. This is someone who's pointed and rude. This could be you because we have this scorpion here. So maybe out of anxiety, sometimes it can be a bit of a jerk and, um, and sting people and hurt people. Uh, it's in your nature a little bit, but also it's time to stop with the defensiveness. But this, you could be being feeling defensive because you're used to someone like this. So there's someone, you know, always around with barbs and, and just the perfect insult and the perfect way to cut you down. And they're not really focused on what they're trying to say. They're more focused on their effect on you is what they want out of the situation. They want you to be affected by it. So the Queen of Swords, she's lost her inner focus. She's not just speaking her mind. She's not just clear in her mind. This could also be someone who's not very clear in their own mind about what they want, about their own thoughts. They may, they may have some disorganized thoughts going on here. I'm, you know, I'm seeing that that could be another possibility for this Queen of Swords. Someone with just some disorganized thoughts. They don't really know what they think. Um, but it could also be someone who's, whose words are, are sharp and uh and they're more focused on 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 their effect on other people rather than the truth of them and the honesty of them and the idea behind them they're not really concerned about conveying an idea they're concerned about barbs um and then we have in your environment i hate this card in the environment it's so hard to read in the environment the moon card in the environment Things that can be revealed, things that, oh, here we have this cage again, this fear, this fear. This could be something in your environment is, is, is triggering some subconscious issues, some fears. I have this moon card I'm seeing fears too, some outsized fears, some big fears, right? We have this, this, this crow up here in this moon, this is bigger than life. 
that it's just a reflection. This is this moon card is often about subconscious issues. So there's something or someone around you that might be triggering some subconscious issues for you, might be triggering this uh, this tail, this poison tail, um, and this this defensiveness. Uh, there could be things around you that you can't know that are being revealed now. There's always this fear of being trapped, of being caged, of being silenced. But the moon card is very much about subconscious issues, about intuition, about what can be revealed and what cannot be revealed. Because ultimately we just have the moon here. It's not the sun, it's the moon. It's not a full revelation, it's a partial revelation. Uh, in your to-do list, we have King of Cups, Mastery of Emotions. Where your power lies, basically where everybody's power lies, is in this mastery. And it's not a mastery as in controlling the feelings and controlling things and, and telling your heart what it needs to do. This is mastery as in everything comes and you can handle it, you can deal with it, you let it come, you let it affect you, you let it make you cry, you let it come through your body, the joys, the sorrows, the anger, the frustration, you allow it, but you don't let it make decisions for you. So this is emotional mastery. This is the, an ability to maintain your own uh, integrity as a person, your own values um, and your own connection to your deeper self within the storms, within the, the, the riots going on around you. You're staying connected to your feelings, yet you're also staying solid. You're, you're within them. So this queen of swords doesn't rattle you. No, you're fine. You're good. Again, a king, this is leadership in a situation uh, that you're bringing the peace. You're bringing your peace into a situation. You're bringing your leadership, your confidence into a situation that seems a little unsettled, seems a little, maybe not, maybe a lot, a lot of issues. And here again, we're having some more repeated imagery here. We're having this, this moon that you feel is silenced here. This is released. This is a guide. Uh, this, this moon, this guide, possibly in your environment. Uh, we also have this fish here. This, this deep subconscious issue is right up at the surface now. And you're, you're, you're just staying calm. You're staying cool. You're staying zen about the whole thing. Yeah, you don't have this negativity. This, this, this stinger is down. You are taking leadership, emotional, mature leadership. You're dealing with the tumult very well here. So you're, you're, you're making sure that you're, you're emotionally mature, that you're in touch with that and with whatever tools you need to access that and to make sure that you're sitting on your throne, you're able to handle your emotions and your feelings. You're, you bring the emotional maturity to the situation because this queen of swords in reverse is not bringing any of that crap. Um, and then, uh, and then your possible outcome, ace of wands, a new beginning in flow, in, in flow with the universe and that you know, a gust, this comes in like a gust. Uh, it's spring, it's early spring. It's got that sharp edge of winter. Aries again got this card. Um, it's got that sharp edge of, of winter to it. It's, it's, it's so fresh, it's a little sharp. And comes in suddenly. It's a connection either to sexuality, creativity, intuition. You get a strong intuitive hit. You may not know what to do with it. You may not know where it came from, but you get a strong intuitive hit about something. You, you it's, it's the beginning of something. It's the beginning. Of, it's an inspired new idea. There's a, there's a new new situation coming in here. Very inspired. Um, very exciting. Uh, but it, it does have a little bit of a bite to it. It's a dawn. Uh, but it's a, it's a cold dawn. It's a cold dawn, but it's still the dawn. So we take it. Uh, and we don't know where it's going. And we, do, we weren't necessarily expecting it. So expect the unexpected as you bring your own maturity into the situation. But it's time to release any sort of defensiveness or it could really read as immaturity. Um, letting go of that, of that insecure, based in insecurity, right? This king's secure, very secure. So becoming more and more emotionally secure in yourself, right? I'm being proud of that. 
uh, emotional work that you've done. All right, Taurus, I hope that that was helpful for you. Uh, thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments, and I will see you guys in a little while.